In any other subtext, you'd think that he was a juvenile delinquent, but because he's from New York, he's an artist. You told me you had just attacked somebody with a machete. And he told me that he's never going to stop creating, no matter what. His entire life, from when he wakes up in the morning, from the very first moment he opens his eyes till the moment he closes his eyes, he's thinking about ways he can challenge himself and his cohorts into being creative. I mean, I can't imagine making a film that wasn't anti-establishment. I mean, have you seen it? It's not part of the establishment. I just knew that he wrote, and I knew that he was dyslexic, but I hadn't really considered what the two of those things meant until after I started editing his raw work. Diagnosed at a very young age, and it's core to who you are. 30 years ago, Ethan started a zine that became an art movement. It's known that the art world now is just a place that's about money and moving and shaking. It's not really about discovering artists or any of that anymore. So as artists, we have to carry on in our own sort of collective way because I think we're some of the last that's left in the Alamo. Oh, God, it's so narcissistic. Who would make a film about themselves?